Hey there, and welcome back to another video on cryptocurrency. In today's video, we'll be picking up where we left off yesterday. Recall that we transferred our Litecoin from Coinbase to Bittrex so that we can trade it for other crypto coins we might be interested in. On the main market page of Bittrex, recall that in order to see our Litecoin balance, we click on the Wallets tab in the top right. Doing so takes us to our Wallets tab where we can see our Litecoin balance is that 9.28 Litecoins we sent from Coinbase. So, what we need to do now is trade our Litecoins for Bitcoin. Now, you might be asking, why didn't we just send Bitcoin in the first place if that's what we're going to use to buy other coins? That's a good question. Essentially, because Bitcoin is the most popular coin, it has a lot of transactions on its network. And because it's the oldest, its technology isn't as up to date as some of the other coins out there because it's very hard to make changes to the most popular currency. You have to have a lot of consensus behind even small changes. At the time of filming, according to that site BitInfo Charts that we looked at yesterday, the average block time for Bitcoin is 10 minutes and the average transaction fee is $8. So to send that same value of Bitcoin from my Coinbase account to my Bittrex account, it would have taken over an hour compared to the 15 minutes it took Litecoin and it would have cost orders of magnitude greater in transaction fees. So yeah, it is possible to just buy and send Bitcoin, but you'll save yourself a lot of time and money by using Litecoin, and that's why I recommend it. Okay, so back to Bittrex, we're going to sell our Litecoin for the Bitcoin, and to do that, we'll click on the LTC Litecode here. This should be second nature to seasoned traders, but I'll try to make it simple. There's two orders in the order book, bids and asks or people buying and selling. This page will become very familiar to you over time, so I'd recommend just exploring it on your own as you learn to trade crypto. We're going to sell our Litecoin, and to do that, first we'll define the price we'd like to sell. Not being very picky, I just select the last completed sale price, and then I click the max button to put up all my Litecoin at once. The limit sale confirmation prompt comes up, and I confirm this is what I want, and like that, I've listed my Litecoin for sale. But unfortunately, for some reason, nobody wants to buy my Litecoin at that price. I could continue to watch it and maybe someone will buy, but I've got a video to record, so I'll go down here and click the red X to cancel my sell, and the Litecoins that I put up are returned to my wallet and it's like nothing happened. So I'll try one more time to list my Litecoins at the last agreed upon price hit max, then the sell Litecoin button, I confirm, and we have a sale. I've officially sold my Litecoins for Bitcoins. It's at this point I do want to talk a little bit about trading in the crypto world when you're using multiple currencies like this. It can certainly be somewhat confusing to try and look at the prices that are defined in Bitcoin because the price of Bitcoin is constantly changing and so too does the value of fractions of a Bitcoin. 0.1 Bitcoins could mean $400 today, and maybe 0.1 Bitcoin could be worth $450 tomorrow. It's a market in constant flux, and certainly a very different world than the one we're used to, where the value of, say, the dollar does not change very much or very fast. Thankfully, crypto is based in technology, and technology serves to assist us. For example, we can see right above the listed Bitcoin prices for Litecoin, the equivalent USD value in real time. So don't let the currency abstraction intimidate you from this brave new world of cryptocurrency. There is a lot to gain here and I'm certainly excited that you've made it this far. Okay, so back to the task at hand. Now that we've acquired the Bitcoins, we'll trade them for the cryptos we want. Let's jump back to the main market page just by clicking on the Bittrex logo here. This page displays all the different currencies for sale and what they're trading for in real time. You can spend a lot of time here just looking at all the different cryptos being offered. But for the purposes of this video, I'll just cover one. And mind you, this is not financial advice telling you to invest in this specific crypto. Do your own research and get your advice from many different sources. This market is highly speculative. So anyone can say anything, and it's up to you to weigh the validity of their recommendations. One of my best recommendations is trading on actionable intelligence. For example, 
I have heard that there's going to be a new release about this coin called ARC and they're going into detail of a new feature or initiative or yeah, I'm making this up. But should you hear a rumor like that and you want to trade a coin, simply type it into the search bar here and click on the short code to be taken to the trading page. I told you you'd become familiar with this page. So I'm just going to do in reverse what I did with Litecoin. I set the price for the last agreed upon, hit max, uh, but actually I, I don't want to go all in on ARC, so I'll click the max button again to disengage that, and instead I'll type in 150. Bittrex auto calculates how much in Bitcoin that costs, so really all I need to do is hit buy ARC. I hit confirm and my limit order has gone through. It seems the market liked my price this time because it was instantly filled. Great. I bought some ARC. I can check to make sure that's the case by going back to the wallets tab, typing in the ARC shortcode. I'll let you guess what that is. And yeah, I've got 150 ARC coins. Great. So that's it. That's it for this section of cryptocurrency education. We've certainly come a long way together. At this point, you should be very capable of acquiring, transferring, buying, and selling crypto. Congratulations. As always, thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me at crypto at